Mr. Bolin, after our initial therapy session, I've been able to diagnose your condition, and you're what's clinically known as fucked up. And that's pretty bad, huh? Well, it's better than extremely fucked up. Another clinical term? Mm-hmm. Although, you spend one more weekend with your mother, and you will be. So this is going to take a lot of treatment, then? Uh-huh. About how long? How long you got? I don't know, maybe 30, 40 years? It's gonna take longer. So basically you're saying that there is no hope? No, I'm saying it's hopeless. So what's the difference? See, that's part of your problem, Mr. Bowen. You're unable to distinguish between hopeless and no hope. No hope means no hope. Hope less means less hope than no hope. How is that possible? If no hope is zero hope, how can you have less than zero? That's what I ask you about your self-esteem. How can you think that you're less than zero? Do I think that? Well, would you say you have a negative self-image? Yes, I guess you could say that. And are negatives less than zero? Yes. Okay, so now you see my point. So you're saying that I have even less than zero hope? Exactly. So now our job is just to get you back to having no hope. And then we can build from there. Okay, I see. See, you're making progress. Perhaps there is hope for you yet. Of having no hope? No, I think perhaps one day you might even become hopeful. Really? You mean filled with hope? That's right. Of what? Of not having to have hope anymore. But why would I want that? Because then you'd already have everything and you'd be absolutely fulfilled so you wouldn't have to hope for anything because you'd already have it. So my ultimate goal is to have no hope. No, it's to be hopeless. But you just said that was worse than no hope. Yes, but it's better than hopeful. So, if my ultimate goal is to be hopeless and you just said that I was hopeless, then aren't I cured? Now you're just delusional.